This bacony broth has so much flavour and then we've got all these stir fried vegetables and yet this is the easiest noodle soup to put together. This is my version of Japanese tanmen noodle soup. Okay guys, so this is like literally the easiest noodle soup recipe I think I've ever done on my channel. So there you go, this is gonna be a keeper. Uh, first of all, we're gonna start with chopping up some vegetables. I've got some Napa cabbage, or in Australia we call this Wombok cabbage. Any kind of cabbage is fine. You just kind of want some nice little slices. And now some carrot as well. And then what I want here are some really thin strips of carrot because I want it to cook really quickly. Now any of these sort of larger pieces, I'm just gonna cut those in half. And the other vegetable I'm using, which is traditionally used in this style of Japanese soup, is wood ear mushroom. I'm really lucky because here in Bangkok I can get these fresh. This is what they look like when they're fresh, but you can get them dried from an Asian grocery store as well. I really like them, they're worth seeking out. They kind of have a really crunchy texture and a very mild flavour, but they seem to soak up a lot of the soup flavour as well. So definitely a good one to have a look at. Now, with the fresh ones, you just want to cut out this sort of, wouldn't call it a stem, I just kind of call it, you know, it's a little bit more dried than the rest of the mushroom. I really want this nice, tender outer part of the mushroom rather than this little stubbly bit at the end. So if you're using the dried, you just need to soak them in some hot water until they're tender but crunchy. Now, I also want some spring onion as well, and just any of these stems that are a little bit thick, I'm going to cut those in half and then just cut everything into little buttons. Now the original version of tanmen noodle soup generally uses very thin slices of pork belly, but I like to use bacon because you get this really beautiful smoky flavour through your broth and it just, you know, bacon just makes everything taste better. <laughs> so I've got some slices here and I'm going to get them straight into my pan, get them sizzling. And this way I don't have to add any extra oil because I'm going to use the bacony, yummy bacon fat to cook the rest of my stir fry. Now I don't want this bacon to brown or crisp up too much. Just as soon as I can see some colour on there, I'm going to start getting my vegetables in. So first up my carrot because that is the firmest of the vegetables. Now the carrots had a half minute or thereabouts head start in the pan, so now I'm going to add in my cabbage. What I love about this soup is the natural layering of flavours. So we're starting off with that bacon and then we're doing a stir fry which is getting a nice little char on our vegetables and then all of that flavour goes into our soup broth eventually. Pure magic. My cabbage is just starting to look tender so I'm going to add in my mushrooms. Now I want to make sure I season this so I need some salt. Just a little bit of pepper as well. And now my spring onion. And now the bean shoots. And now time to add my chicken stock. Now unlike most noodle soups where usually you're kind of simmering the soup for hours, uh, this one I just want you to bring it up to a gentle simmer. By that time the bacon will have infused all of the broth and we'll be ready to go. So while that's happening though, I'm going to cook my noodles. So I'm using these fresh ramen noodles here and I've got a big pot of boiling water. And what I like to do whenever they're fresh is make sure when I'm putting them in I kind of jiggle them loose from their little bundle. Now you just want to agitate these every so often as they cook and just like any kind of fresh noodle or fresh pasta, these don't take very long so don't pop them in and forget about them. Just stand here and patiently wait for them to be ready. Okay, now the only way to test properly in my book is just to pull a noodle out and let's just see. Mmm, perfectly tender. Oh. A perfectly cooked noodle is such a joy. All right, I just want to drain a portion of these. It goes straight into my serving bowl. Now my soup has just started bubbling away, so I'm going to check for seasoning. Oh, guys, honestly, I mean, it's just amazing the amount of flavor you can get in such a short amount of time. That bacon, mmm. Oh, so good. Now, I will add a little bit more salt to this one, and that's going to depend on the saltiness of your chicken stock and also your personal taste as well. Okay, now I want a decent amount of bacon and vegetable in each of my bowls. And then just ladle over that amazing broth. And there you go, guys, the easiest and probably, yeah, I think the quickest noodle soup that I have in my repertoire. There you go. 
Ah, oh, let me just get in here because bacon is bacon. Hmm, so good. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.